Good afternoon, everyone. Here's our latest video update on this Monday, uh, afternoon, July 21st, 2014. And we continue to watch Typhoon Matma or Bagyong Henry as it moves east of Luzon, tracking right now towards um, Taiwan. Uh, the system was last located approximately 460 kilometers east of Aparikagayan or about 850 kilometers southeast of Taipei, Taiwan. Uh, maximum sustained winds, according to the Japan Meteorological Agency, are at 130 km per hour with gusts of up to 185 km per hour. And the Joy Typhoon Warning uh, Center, uh, pretty much similar with what uh, the uh, JMA is uh, analyzing in terms of the winds of this system as of right now. Uh, as you may have noticed, the system hasn't really intensified that much and uh, hasn't intensified as fast as we were uh, forecasting it to be. Um, the system battled uh, strong wind shear over the past 48 hours. It never really had an eye. The eye wall uh, never had, never formed. Um, and again, uh, the uh, system is just struggling to maintain that core in uh, the midst of strong upper level winds. However, we have noticed uh, some improvements in the structure. Uh, especially again the core, we we noticed an eye wall is starting to take shape, which could mean that intensification uh, could resume over the next twenty four hours. The system is still has, still has enough time to uh, to again really intensify just before it makes landfall into Taiwan, uh, perhaps by tomorrow afternoon. Um, also, uh, the system has been affecting parts of northern and uh, central Luzon in terms of light to moderate rain showers. And uh, the system, uh, Typhoon Matmo, as it tracks northwestward, will impact parts of the islands in uh, the islands north of Luzon. In fact, we already have signal number two for Batanes group of islands as of Pagasa's latest uh, 5 p.m. weather bulletin. Uh, the province of Cagayan, the uh, group of islands such as Kalayan and uh, Babuyan, remain under signal number one. Uh, again, the provinces mentioned here and the islands mentioned under those signal warnings should expect winds of uh, uh, tropical storm strength to occur within the next 24 hours, 24 to 36 hours, as well as the threat of uh, scattered light to moderate rains. As the Central Weather Bureau in Taiwan has issued sea typhoon warning, again in anticipation for MADMO, uh, the agency should be uh, issuing uh, heavy rain advisories and perhaps even some land typhoon warnings as we head into the morning hours tomorrow, uh, just to uh, as the system nears. Uh, Taiwan. And as I mentioned before, we have uh, some light to moderate rains affecting parts of northern Luzon. This is the latest latest radar image out of Aparikagayan, courtesy of Pagasa and Climate X. Uh, again, you can see those bands of light to moderate and even some pockets of heavy rain moving into the province of Cagayan, affecting Aparik uh, and Togegarao. And also into Isabela, you can see rains moving into Ilagan and also pushing westward into Kalinga and Apayao and also the rest of northern Luzon. Not that widespread, not that significant of rainfall, but we are expecting anywhere from 50 to even as much as 100 millimeters uh, over the next 24 to 48 hours. So there may still be some flooding and some landslides, uh, but definitely the core of the heavy rains remain offshore and uh, near the center of Matmo and that is expected to uh, hit again Taiwan by tomorrow and as you can see in this latest uh, computer run from the COAMS model courtesy of the Naval Research Lab the rainfall forecast for the, uh, for the next three days you can see here the heavy rains offshore away from Luzon still expecting and again anywhere from a hundred millimeters there but again the bulk of heavy rains is uh, expected to fall into northern Taiwan uh, around Taipei, expecting as much as 300 to 500 millimeters, and also the mountainous regions south of that uh, could see s pretty similar rainfall amounts, probably even more, as uh, as the uh, uh, the the geographical effects of the island just soaks up all that uh, all that rainwater from the uh, from the typhoon. Now the system. Uh, once it crosses Taiwan, we'll be moving into parts of China, and that could also bring some widespread uh, light to moderate rains in that region as you head into the latter part 
of this week. And here we have the forecast beginning with the Joint Typhoon Warning Center and again showing you that northwesterly track, this, uh, JTWC is still expecting uh, the system to intensify, perhaps even reach Category 3 strength just before it moves into Taiwan, probably making landfall there around uh, 18 Zulu or about uh, 2 p.m. Uh, local time by tomorrow, Tuesday. And then again, tracking very near Taipei as you move into Tuesday evening, bringing in some strong damaging winds and also, so again, the threat of widespread heavy rains. And that will also impact parts of the uh, Ryukyu Islands out here in Japan, uh, the island chain just east of Taiwan, Ishigaki, and uh, you got also Miyakojima out there, could also be seeing that uh, rains and also strong winds. Now the system will now move, will be moving into eastern China, into the provinces of Fujian, Shenyang, and also uh, Jiangsu provinces, and perhaps moving just west of Shanghai as you move uh, into Thursday evening into Friday morning. So, uh, and, and also just note that the system, as it makes landfall, will be uh, decaying and weakening rapidly, but the threat of heavy rain will uh, remain across the eastern Chinese regions out here. As you can see, JTWC expecting this system to move into the Yellow Sea as you move into the latter part of this week. And finally, we have the Japan Meteorological Agency's uh, five-day track forecast for Typhoon Matmo. And again, pretty similar now with the uh, Joint Typhoon Warning Center expecting the system to move into northern Taiwan uh, by tomorrow afternoon. And then again, moving into eastern China. Uh, again, the provinces of Fujian, Shenyang, and Jiangsu will be uh, directly impacted by this storm. And also parts of Shanghai could see could be dealing with some strong winds and some heavy rains as you move into Thursday and into Friday. Again, expecting the system now to recurve into the Yellow Sea and perhaps affect the Korean Peninsula as you move into the weekend. But that concludes our video update for this afternoon. Again, thank you for watching. As always, be updated on our websites down below and also on our Facebook page. And uh, again, uh, just to recap, Taiwan expecting landfall there to occur tomorrow afternoon. Uh, again, the system still has time to intensify and the Joint Typhoon Warning Center expecting again it to become a Category 3. So the threat of strong winds and heavy rains and also uh, storm surge uh, along northern Taiwan, also eastern China and also parts of the Japanese islands out here. Again, just to... Uh, uh, and also, again, follow the official warnings and forecasts of your uh, weather agencies and uh, local officials, um, especially as the system uh, is looking to directly impact Taiwan in the next 24 hours. Stay safe and see you in our next update.